Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you how can you add Google search bar to your website. How to embed a Google search box like here uh, to your own website. As you can see I already have it here but in the past in my first video I showed you how to make a home page just a greeting and and time a.m. p.m. but today we will learn how we can add another field where we can type text for example time and we can click search and it will redirect you to Google page you can click back and you'll be on the same website uh, so that's pretty easy it also works when we hit enter button for example now I'm hitting enter and the result is the same as clicking button search so we can use enter button hit enter on the keyboard or we can click search the result will be exactly the same so how to do it in first uh, page which I showed you without uh, the search bar it was we had only two HTML element and uh, h1 for greeting and paragraph for time in this uh, part we added extra extra input input text so first we wrap it in the ID you can call it what, what, whatever name you like but I call it wrapper because we want to center this element we'll center this element using CSS to center them horizontally on the page so I use flexbox because I think that's modern and it's pretty easy we don't have too many elements we could use some transform function but I want to show you how to do it with display flex so these div elements w which wraps uh, input text and button is the first one and uh, later we give it display flex with 100% because I want to fill it the whole page and simply justify the content center uh, this is uh, one of the attributes of display flex that if you want to center elements horizontally you write justify content if you want to center them vertically you use align items center but we don't need vertically so we use justify content then search bar we specify the width height as you can see it could be bigger could be smaller it's up to you how you prefer it you can make it 600 or maybe 300 feel free to play around with it and customize it according to your taste a uh, border radius I suggest using border radius pixels because if you use percentage it will not look as nice as that so this nice border is achieved by uh, the, uh, this uh, expressing the value in pixels not percentages styling button we can choose different colors also at a border radius I choose course cursor pointer so as you can see there's a, like a little palm palm when I hover over it so it also look cool and when I hover over it you see the, the color changes a little bit I achieve this effect by uh, decreasing opacity uh, opacity make it less a little bit I mean makes it a little bit transparent so uh, when it's a little bit transparent the color become becomes brighter okay so that's all what you need to style it yeah you can make it better I just give you the basic basic style a yeah. center element horizontally uh, enlarge it make the font also a little bigger add a little bit of padding here padding to the left so that it's not hidden somewhere with the radius but you can move it a little bit you could also add background picture so feel free to play around with this you can, I believe you can make it better but I just give you the basic concept of how you can style this element so inside this div id wrapper we put input type text it has to be input type text because we want to type inside this element then we have button each of these elements have id because i want to later create variables in javascript based on the id so the type text has id search bar uh, button has id button and we call the function we activate function on click search and function in javascript you have to put two brackets after the name of the function okay so that's how we we just added these three elements div input type text and button okay so what's what we're gonna do with javascript about this uh, if we go to javascript file you can see i added function search so th this function is uh, called after clicking the button 
and so we create a variable here. It could be also constant variable search bar equals the value of search bar. What we type in search bar, it is input type, as I, you remember, input type text has the ID search bar. So whatever we, whatever we type here is stored in a variable, in this variable called search bar. So we, we, we get this, we need to write value. Without value, it will be just empty. It will only target this HTML element, but we want to get value, that's what we need to, after the document get element by ID, we need to write dot value. And then action, what we're gonna do in this function, action is move to another page, which is window location ref. We move it to Google page and we concatenate it with the value of search bar. So search bar value is stored in this variable and we using plus two, two pluses, we concatenate it with the address. That's why when you click search, it will be this page. You can, you can see Google search queue time. So this time is taken from this variable, a search bar. Uh, okay, so that's what we did. This function, this basically what we need, this function, but we call this function on button click, but we also want to call this function when we hit enter. So we need to create another variable here, variable called searching, and we get it document get element by ID search bar. So what is document get element by ID search bar? This is the, this input text, this input text, this is this variable. So when this input text is active, means when the cursor, when the cursor is here, it's active, then I can hit enter and it will redirect me to another page. As you can see it here. So only if, if I put the cursor here, it doesn't work. So the cursor has to be inside this input uh, text element. It has to be active, uh, focus. So we create another variable that we take from this input text element. Then we add leave event listener. We need to add leave event listener to this variable, key down or key up means that if you hit this key, key and the button, but we choose later what key we hit. So this is the name of the event listener. Event listener is called kill down, then we activate function. We have one argument inside this function. And if the code of this argument is enter, then we call function search, which is declared here. Okay, that's pretty all what we need. We could uh, write this in other ways. Instead of writing enter, you can also write if it equals 13. Because code of enter button is in notation, it has digital value 13. Okay, let's save it. If it's gonna work the same, enter button code. Okay, let's hit enter. As you can see, it works exactly the same key code value is 13. So it's it's working uh, well. Uh, our Google search bar is embedded into our website. That's this two line of code you need actually only one, but if you want to activate it on hitting enter, you also need to add this line of code. And something interesting at the end, I want to show you the difference between window location ref and uh, location replace. So you could use uh, instead of window location ref, you could lose, you could use location replace. Let's see what is the difference. Let's comment this out, and I, I will copy that. So see the difference. Okay, I'm gonna save it. Wasp flew in my room. <laughs> I hope it won't disturb the video. Okay, wasp in my room. Hit enter. Okay, it redirects me to another page. Uh, but if I, I can't click, I can't click back. I mean, I, I can't do it now. I don't know why. Let's see. Location replace. Maybe the page is not refreshed. Okay. Move back and let's click refresh. Refresh one more time and click search. Okay, 
so we can see the result it redirected me to google page but now i can't click back so i think that it's more practical if we use in this case if we use window location rev instead of location replace okay let's move back actually we can't move back so i'm gonna close it and reopen it okay wasp okay and now i can move back to the to my starting page okay so i prefer using window location ref uh, okay guys so that's pretty all for all we need to embed the any input text from other website could be from google could be from others i hope you you know how to do it now thank you for your attention and see you next time bye